my dear students in this video we will understand how to find the sum of natural numbers up to n using recursion so let us find the sum of the natural numbers from 1 to n let us consider the sum of all the natural numbers from 1 to n as sum of n okay that is the notation that we use so example number 1 if n is equal to 5 what is sum of 5 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 but we also have sum of 4 is equal to 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 therefore here in sum of 5 instead of 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 we can write sum of 4 therefore sum of 5 is equal to 5 plus sum of 4 let us take one more example if n is equal to 7 Sum of seven is equal to seven plus six plus five plus four plus three plus two plus one, but we also have sum of six as six plus five plus four plus three plus two plus one. Therefore, in sum of seven, instead of six plus five plus four plus three plus two plus one, we can write sum of six. Therefore, sum of seven is equal to seven plus sum of six. In general, sum of n. Is n plus n minus one plus n minus two plus dot 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 up to one, but we have sum of n minus one. What is sum of n minus one? n minus one plus n minus two plus 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 up to one. Now, in sum of n, instead of n minus one plus n minus two plus 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 up to one, we can write down sum of n minus one. That is, sum of n is equal to n plus sum of n minus one. So this is in general. Now the recursive definition can be written as follows: sum of n. If n is one, it is one only. Otherwise, it is n plus sum of n minus one. So this is recursive definition. Yes, very good. Now, again, we will repeat the recursive definition. If n is one, sum is one. Otherwise, it is n plus sum of n minus one. Now. Uh, let us find the sum of all the natural numbers from one to six. Now, sum of six. What is sum of six? It is six plus sum of five. What is sum of five? It is five plus sum of four. What is sum of four? It is four plus sum of three. What is sum of three? Three plus sum of two. What is sum of two? It is two plus sum of one. What is sum of one? When n is equal to one, it is one. Therefore, sum of one is one. Okay, that is the terminating condition of the recursion. So, sum of one is one. Now, what is sum of two? Sum of two is equal to two plus sum of one. But sum of one is one. Therefore, it is two plus one is equal to three. Yes, three. Next, what is sum of three? It is three plus sum of two. But sum of two is three. Therefore, it is three plus three. It is Six. Yes, it is six. What is sum of four? Four plus sum of three. But what is sum of three? Six. Therefore, four plus six, ten. Yes. What is sum of five? Five plus sum of four. But what is sum of four? Ten. Therefore, it is five plus ten, fifteen. Yes. Last sum of six. Sum of six is six plus sum of five. But what is sum of five? Fifteen. Therefore, six plus fifteen, twenty-one. Therefore, sum of six is. Twenty-one. Yes. Now we shall write the uh, function also for this uh, recursive program to find the sum of natural numbers up to n. Yes. Int sum of num, the name of the function. Int n only one parameter. If n is equal to one, return one. Otherwise, you return n plus sum of num of n minus one. Okay. That's all the function. As I said, recursive functions are very small, very cute, very good, simple. Okay. Next main program. Enter the value of n. You read the value of n. Next, sum is equal to sum of n. Sum of num n. Yes. Print the sum of numbers from one to n is sum. That's all. Simple. So uh, to find the sum of all the natural numbers up to n using recursion is quite simple, uh, quite straightforward.